Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Today we are going to be making one of them hanger snowflakes. It's kind of popular right now. A lot of people are doing it. They're using um, different style hangers, um, larger hangers, smaller hangers, um, like kid size or adult size hangers to make these snowflakes. So I'm not sure if you guys are got to see any of them yet this year but it's kind of like a new, fun, creative way to use up some of your hangers. Or actually you can go to the dollar store and pick up um, a set of hangers. You don't need to just leave them white. You could spray paint them and add different things to them to make them a little bit more decorative. But today I'm just gonna go over like the basic way of putting them together. You just need hangers and zip ties that's it so i will show you what i'm using as for the zip ties and then you can kind of get whatever you have like laying around the house or you could probably go to the dollar store and just use them too you don't need anything that's like um real like strong and fancy you just need ones that are able to hold the um the actual snowflake together and then you can kind of hang them outside or do whatever you want with that so let's get started and i'll show you what i'm using miles is here and he's going to help us so i'm going to turn you guys around and show you what we need to do to get started so what you need to start out with are 16 hangers make sure when you get the hangers that you get them all to match you don't want different style hangers with one snowflake so you kind of want to keep it um, looking the same I'm gonna give you another example of what I'm talking about but for right now, these are the ones we're gonna use but I'm gonna have miles go up there and grab me whatever ones that you see up there like them and you can use any color we're just gonna use white but you, like I said before you can snow you can spray paint okay do you see on this hanger, this has no, um, like any added anything on this one. So if you wanted to do this, you would just use that style. And on here, it has the little hooks on there. So if you want to do it that way, you would get a set of hangers just with that. This is the kid hangers or like toddler size hangers. It has this and I'm sure that they have other styles for that. So here's the difference so we got the bigger size and the little size and i'm going to show you how to put together the bigger size and then um go on and maybe show you how to do the little one also here is the zip ties that we had on hand they're just very very tiny so i'm going to show you what that looks like if i can get this open here there i got it okay so they're very tiny. You can get any size that you want and then just cut it down if you would like. But this is the package that we have. And you're, I don't know how many you're going to need for this, but we'll go over that as we go through. Okay. So Miles is kind of going to help me here. He's never did this before, but I'm going to show him as we go. So you're going to take, you're going to have, you're going to use eight hangers as you go. For the first layer so your first layer is gonna look like that and then your next layer or your next two are gonna look like this so you want to keep going here why don't you put two more together just like that and then what you want to do is put your centers together. So get get together. He already put these together. Um, oh, wait, no. no. Do you need to flip it? Yes, yeah, I do. Okay. So you're going to put all the centers together. This is your goal on what you want your snowflake, the bottom to look like. You're going to have all your centers like this. You're going to have your two matching like this. And you're going to have this spot right here looking like that. So I need to add 
one more. So I'm going to put two together. And I'm going to flip it because we want... We want it to match like this, and then we want the centers to look like that. So we're gonna open this up a little tiny bit. Okay, so do you guys see the base of what this needs to look for, look like? So we have two, four, six, eight. That's why we need 16 hangers per one snowflake. Okay, so Miles is fixing that one. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two snowflake or two hangers and you're going to your two um, bottoms of your hangers to go down the middle of the bottom base, okay? If that makes sense. So if you were to pick this up, if you see this spot right here, this is where you want to put them two hangers. I'm gonna grab another two, and if you wanna add them into that section right there. Uh, this way? Yeah, the same. You're gonna kinda go the same way. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. When you put together the top part of the snowflake, you want to make sure that you're lining up the bottom pieces with each other on the next layer. So, um, Miles is going to grab another two pieces and he's going to stick it right down the middle of here. This way? Yep. Oh, but you got to match your things up there. So, so what I was telling Miles is what you want to do is you want to make sure that the two that you put over here, you want them to be able to have a little loop like that on that side that they match in that way. And then he's going to set together this next one that needs to go right here. Yep, you had it right. Oh, nope. So he's going to go right down the middle right there. Okay, so that's it. That's all you do to make your snowflake. Now we're going to zip tie it. So I'm going to go over that. And I will show you where you need to put the first initial uh, zip ties. Then I will fast forward a little bit so you guys don't have to sit and watch the whole process. But at least you'll get the idea of where to. And then I'll stop and then I'll show you the next spot to um, zip tie. So I'm going to show Miles how to do this so I can um, keep videotaping. And it's really, really easy. We are going to go along. Each zip tie is going to go in this spot I went underneath the two down here one underneath there see if I separate it you guys can see that and then I'm gonna zip tie miles is gonna pull this together the the trick though is to not pull it together tight because then you won't be able to move things around as you go around you want to kind of adjust it a little bit and then when you're fully done then we can kind of go back and tighten all of these up. You could actually pull that to the point where it touches, but you're mm -hmm. just not gonna zip it really, really tight. Mm -hmm. You just want it to hold. And when you guys go over, when you guys do that, don't let your piece come on top of each other. Like, don't zip tie it like that. That's not gonna make the snowflake look nice. Now, I'm gonna have Miles do this section right here. So Miles, why don't you come around, come over here and do that one. Zip tie underneath. This one? Yep. So 
Miles is going to go over how to put the zip tie on the center pieces. So Miles, what you're going to do is there's this really thick part right here. This is where maybe you could use bigger zip ties if you guys have, but we're going to use the little ones for right now. He's going to go underneath here all the way through and zip tie that together. Okay. The blanket picking it up yeah. okay but you're gonna come up really close up here right here as close as you can get it up here okay yep there you go you can zip tie that um this needs to lay these have to be not on top oh, of yeah. each other yeah Okay, so zip tie that tighter. Wait, as I hold it. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go to the next one right here. So put them together. Yeah. Wait, all right here. Yeah. Nash and Lachlan are behind us right now. They're looking at some books. So. So I'm going to zoom you guys in close enough so you can kind of see us go around it. And we're almost finished. So once we go around the center, we're just going to tighten up everything up and then we're finished. And then we'll move on to the little one and I'll show you guys how to make the little one. So I'm going to help Miles out here. <music> just quick fast forward and you can just watch us put it together and then at the end of the video I'll show you how cute it looks outside on our flower pot um, but well me and Miles will show you how to make the little one also
here is the small snowflake. I'm gonna show you guys um, what it looks like outside. So hopefully that made sense on how to put this together. If you guys, like I said, have any questions, just go down below and I can help you. I hope you guys liked our video today. It was fun to do. We've been wanting to do this for a, kind of a while now, just because we kind of seen it out there that people were making these and I thought it was really cute and something that we could add outside to um, make it a little bit more Christmassy outside. We have some little bit of string of lights out there and then with these that'll be kind of cute for the kids to see having out there. They're so easy to do. It, when we made this small one, it took us maybe less than 10 minutes to kind of put together. So you really only need the two things and then you can add some, you know, like maybe gold um, spray paint or silver. And, uh, green you could kind of decorate it and put maybe some other like embellishments and stuff on there you could add to it it, it probably is endless the things that you could add to your snowflakes um, you could even do them blue with glitter you can just kind of do whatever you want um, to them I think we're just gonna keep ours white and add them to what we have already outside other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we know that you guys liked our video today. And follow along for some more holiday things that we're going to do through December. I have a bunch of uh, videos planned for this week uh, with, um, you know, the kids like decorating cookies and um, some other air fryer videos that are going to come out this week on Friday and then it's pretty close to Christmas and we have other things that we want to get done before Christmas so there'll be other things that you guys will see the kids involved in and doing so hopefully you guys follow along and I'll see you in the next one